Oh my God, guys. I'm so excited. I just went to go check on the snakes, the eggs. Oh my gosh. It's time. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Welcome to the Board and Scale Podcast. Battle of the Games. Board and Scale's first ever snake video. It's another vendor spotlight. And the penguin's the only one with any character. What you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics. You know I don't play right, right, right. Oh my gosh. And maybe someone has decided to say hello. Oh my god, baby, that's the moldy one! It is. Oh the one god. egg that we were like, oh, that one's probably not gonna make it. That little fella, right there. Back up, girls. Has made it in. Oh my god, what? Has made it into the world. Alright. So we've given them a day, and look at that. That's another head. A big one, actually. And there is another body. And the little guy, the first one, he's right there, almost all the way out. We've got little bits and pieces of them coming out and saying hello. That one, that egg is open now, so that one can come out. He just popped his little head out. The big one, for some reason, put his tail out. His head's right there, too. Okay, everybody, it's been a few days since the first eggs uh, pip. You see him trying to go back into his egg? And they are, three of them are currently fully out, and one of them is almost all the way out, and the, the last one is still in the egg. So we're gonna go ahead and move them from the incubator that they're in right now into a separate space so that they have, maybe they're a little more comfortable coming all the way out, they have more space to move around because the one that we have them in has smaller divided sections. The one we put them in, that we're gonna move them in, I'll show you here in a minute. Just gonna be a bigger space for them He's to move around. Back completely in his egg. And with some moss, he's slipping back in with some moss in there for them to feel comfortable. But yeah. Okay, so here they are. Oh, Look at him. He actually just slipped himself all the way back in there. But we have one all the way out. He is still hiding. He's the one who doesn't want to come out just yet. And then. Two, three, or I guess four, five, are also all the way out. So we're gonna move them from this divided incubator, like I said earlier, just into one that is just gonna be them and it's got moss in it. Hopefully they feel more comfortable. All right, so Kenzie's gonna move them over. Like, this guy is not even our biggest one. Our biggest one is not out of the egg yet. But that's our medium sized one, and that is that one. So you can kind of see the difference there. Of that is definitely the runt. First one to cut through his egg, first one to be completely out, and he is the smallest. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just move these guys over. There you go, buddy. Okay. They are all moved over. I would make that one's hole bigger. 
Like rip it like halfway. Oh, the other one? Yeah, like I will. halfway open. I will. I'm just going to pull those out. Kenzie is just making sure that the... Is he going to come all the way out? Temperature and humidity baby, readers... Baby, baby, baby. Oh. He decided to just come out? Mm-hmm. I think it's because the moss gives him a hiding place, so he mm -hmm. can feel a little bit more comfortable and just actually dig in the, into there. He's got a pretty big hole. I don't think he's... Four condas and one super. All right. Hopefully the next clip will be all of them just out of the eggs, and then we'll put them in their baby enclosures. What's up, guys? We are back, and here's the final part of the video. You already saw the pipping video, you saw the kind of cutting them open and letting them wander out video. Now we're going to make the finishing touches and put them in their baby bins. Cause they're so all out. They're all out and they're, I think, ready to start their journey now. Um, so we're gonna show you where they're gonna be living for, for a while. Let's see if we can find them. Give you a little bit of a closer look. Oh, do you see that tail? <laughs> that boy tail right Swine there. tail. That little boy tail. Do you want to grab a trash bag, baby? Oh yeah. God, that egg is so fuzzy. Ooh. That egg is completely empty. No, it's not. It's not? Is it juice? Oh, just a little bit. Here. That one. Yeah, oh, that one's empty. Hi. Okay. I'm going to take this out. As you can see, there is one tail already visible. We are going to have to find them. It's the only one. Yeah, he's the only one visible right now. There are no, five of them. He's the only one. They all ran away. Where, uh, let's, you know, let's show them off real quick. Let's just... <gasps> Look at those super condom! Look at how big she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make sure it's a sheet. Pick it up. This is the one that we think is a girl. She has an extremely little tail. Uh, I think that's a girl. Look at this little Oh, she's starting to shed oh, already. The shed has already begun, so it's a good thing we're going to get them in their little places. Look here, you want to grab the, see if you can find the small one, yeah. just to show the size difference. I'm like so, trying to make sure it's not wrapped up. This is a super anaconda. Both of the parents had the conda gene, and she got lucky and hit them both. We were also testing out albino, and supposed to be head albino. I don't think we hit, none of these are albino, so I don't think that uh, we also, she is the head albino. We also Shedding did. is always a good sign though. It's good that they're already shedding, even the baby. So this is the smallest of the clutch <laughs> and the largest. Look at that size difference. Really cool. So I know I kind of already talked about it already, but this guy was in a moldy egg. We did not expect that egg to hatch. He was actually the first one to even pip. We were so surprised and he was the first one out of his egg. So yeah, the runt decided to be the first for everything. Look at how little he is, but anyway. Let's set up these baby bins. All right. Okay, so we've got a small variety of stuff for the babies to crawl around uh, and hide under. We actually ended up getting a PVC pipe ourselves and cutting it and then sanding the edges to make these little tubes for them. Um, the rest is obviously store-bought. This we got at the show. It was a big piece of cork that we ended up breaking up. That's most of this here. So this is something that we've taken from Snake Discovery because huge, avid fans. Um, is to get kind of get hog noses to eat better. They've started um, putting them as babies in their baby bins together. Um, so we're going to do, we're actually going to do two, two, one because we have five babies. Um, we are going to put the big girl by herself. She is one that we're most likely going to keep. Yeah. So we're going to see if she does well by herself. If she doesn't, we'll probably move her in with her siblings and see if that helps. But as of right now, we're going to just leave her by herself. Um, but the other ones we're going to do two and two. Yeah. So, all right. Let's put them in.
Mm -hmm. So we can know if they're or not. Yeah. That's fine. Since we got four gold Gondas, one super and one girl. The girl is the super. Yeah. But that is insane. Very cool. And all boys. That's funny. You want to just uh, get a pen Alright guys. Come on. Let her get on this side. <laughs> look, at his, look at his little face. You're from here, Allison, so you won't, you won't block the light for yourself over here. Guys, baby, um, I need help. escaping. I need help. They're good. They're good. This is good. They're moving. They're they're living. You know, they're looking for their first frog. No, that one's gonna get out. <laughs> Except for those two. They're just chilling in the flowers. I can buy myself out. They're looping. I wonder if they're just aware of their shit. He's escaping. Oh my gosh, he's so active. I got him. Hog hands. <laughs> These two are trying to escape. Okay. All of the babies are being so good, and the big ones are running the hell away. That's the striped one. That's the big one by himself. And then this one will go with the super. And stripey was with the little one, right? Hey guys, so if you saw our last video about what we were expecting with our hog noses and those projects, um, Mocha and Sunny's babies finally hatched. They finally came through and we finally have them in their baby bins. Um, thanks for sticking with us through this journey. Um, this is our first time that we've had like healthy baby hoggies. So this is really cool for us and it's really cool that you guys are here to experience this with us. So thank you. And hopefully you keep watching and you can see as they grow up. And we'll let you guys know once they're up and ready to go to new homes. So thank you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>